Hello everybody, the, hello everybody, the one Red Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play 4, Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time we finished off the quest, uh, where the heart is, and now we're hopefully going to be continuing on and maybe finding more quests, but, uh, first I'm gonna see if there's anything to, to find, maybe behind these, and yeah, there's someone to talk to over here. Uh, this guy, this girl, Lorea. Colleen and I really went downhill since you guys left. We were this close to Iron Rank, but now we're back at 10 again. It's kind of rough. We're f fielding attacks from enemies and left and right at the moment, too. Just gotta take each day as it comes. I'm so sorry. Hey, come on, you have nothing to apologize for. Mobius are the bad guys here, right? You haven't done anything wrong. And I'll check to talk to this snob on Her Rala. Long time no peeping, not, not, no one Riku looking bo both well. Well, nicely fluffed. Tidying workshop of Riku seemed like big undertaking. So it fluffed in decidedly scruffy old state. So Harala, leave, leave it be. But was fully of useful bits and bobs to tinker with. Harala helped stuff self to those. Please did not have hard feelings. Okay, so is that it? There's one guy over here. Halt! I can try and Im imitate the commander's fighting style all I want, but I'll never be as good as him. They'll stop enemies, enemies with a shield, and then use their attacks to strengthen themselves, and grow stronger with, when things are dire. Why don't you just a ask Zeon to teach you himself? Not a chance, he's not really the pre approachable type. Unlike you lot. And, uh, I'll, I forgot while doing my intro that we got Zeon as a party member, so there's that. And looks like we got from here. We're running out of supplies across the board. Zeon's got to find a solution, at, and fast. And the first thing he has to f solve is the food shortage. Something is harvesting is producing enough for us to live on. And we got Colony 9 shortages. That sounds pretty serious. And, uh... Let's go down here. There's a lot of people to talk to. Wow. We're gonna be here all episode. Let's talk to Kite. Fair warning. For fair warning, I still haven't let you guys off the hook. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Colony 9 back in order. But I'm gonna do it my way. I can I can do it, I'm sure. It won't be like before. Kite. And now we got Eastman. I've been eating very watery beans for so long that I can now finish mine in one tick. Supplies being short, I guess food's been getting thinner and thinner. I can see how you'd lose the will to, s to savor it. Now we have Fox here. You've royally, royally, you've royally snuffed things for us, up for us, coming back out of the blue like this. Come on, what are you saying? You've made it so that you won't have to fight anymore. Oh, you think you've got it all figured out, have you? You don't have a clue how close you brought us to ruin. The colony is trash, my friends. Our friends are lying dead by the wayside. And now we've even made them an enemy of the castle. It's all just getting worse and worse and worse. And now we have Trish here. I understand Zeon's way of thinking. Really, I do, but you, will we really be able to sub subsist with all support from the castle? We fought Agnes to, to the nail up till now. Levness is the food supply. Neither in a, a, any kind of decent order. The pre previous commander was a stern sort, but he got the colony ship shape so we'd have a shot at getting to iron rank. I, I hate to say it, but I'm just not sure that Zeon can shoulder this burden. Okay. This smell. Now we got two of these information things. Ax, you already need to do on off scene. I need to check in. How, how, tell me about later. I certainly reminded him what his jo job is. You want to hear that kind of thing talking me out of Noah now? Colonies dying off here. They talk too fast, so I can't read everything. I have some hope that we maybe can procure enough you know, food and entry. Some spare equipment, on the other hand. We're lucky on all, lucky all kinds of resources. What do you do if it carries on like this? In our Colony 9 situation. So, I'm not sure where else the information thing is leading us to, but at least we can talk to. Uh, Lenny here. That's some serious look you got on, on your mush there. What's up? 
Well, some of the guys here aren't so keen on working together with you lot. The prospect of future co cooperation is looking bleak, frankly, and the supply issues are only aggravating th things further. I know they're, they're probably just looking for someone to blame here, and so I can't wonder if there isn't, isn't anything I can do to help. That's a rough situation, yeah? Just holler at us if there's anything we can do, okay? Alright, and anybody else? No? Okay. Let's just go to this uh, canteen here and discuss the, all these topics! Let's rest and heal up. Uh, let's discuss! Uh, let's start with Colony 9's situation. Shall we put our heads together on this? Colony 9's been, Colony 9's been struggling ever since we cut them off from the others. No helping that, though. Still, it'd be nice if we could do something to help. What do you think is the most pressing shortage in Colony 9 right now? Uh, I wonder. If you're asking what they need for the most the, the food, I guess. That's only really the very top of a rare, very large pile of needs, I mean, seriously. They wouldn't have been used to get, getting some of their stuff directly from the castle. I reckon a bunch of people are feel, feeling uneasy right now, with, with, without any support. Hmm. They did something get something a short while ago, right? The war with Agnes is drying on longer than anything one thought it would. And shortages are bad for the war business, so they get containers of supplies dropped. Oh, that's right. Do you think there are still any still lying around? I mean, from back then, I remember one that was blown away by the wind. We couldn't recover it. Really? I must have still have the logs from back then. Got it. It's up the waterfall on Murmur Rise. Then let's take a gander and see if it's still up, it's still there. And we got forgotten supplies. Let's check out Colony Knives Offseer. Shall we put our heads together on this? And about, about those guys from Colony Nine, they've really been coming out. No one asking for Offseeing these days. I thought they had a new Offseer filling fill in for him. What's his name? Earl, a fourth termer. Yeah, that's the one. I guess he's just not as reliable as Arnoa. He'd been been doing the Offseeing until we got back to Colony Nine, hadn't he? I don't really mind sending them off, but still. It just ain't possible for you to do some sending off in this fellow's place every time. I wonder how things got to this point. I've been wanting to look into this too. We need to talk to Roald. He'll have a good overview on what's going on with the soldiers. Let's meet up with them in, colon in the Colony 9 barracks and see what's going on. Got an Offseer's English. And now, Colony 9 shortage is another one. Let's have a little huddle up. I heard that Colony Knights have been some major shortages. That's nothing new. But we didn't have so much of a problem with food and resources until Colony Knights' rank dropped. So, our so now frustrations are running high after one too many shortages. Is there anything we can do to help? That would be great. I guess there isn't anything we can do to fix it right at the mo this moment. Resolving the food supply pro problem is, is the highest priority, isn't it? Everyone's sad when stomach empty. That's just science. But it'll take some time for, for the fields to yield crops. Mm, yeah. We could find it something to tide everyone into over until Zeon's field idea brings results. Troublesome people as always. Come on, Riku, if you got any bright ideas, we'd love to hear them. It was just easy to plan. It's principle of finding keep fighters keepers. Meaning, Battlefield is full of unsafe of usable items with no owner. He's got a point. When we couldn't go back to our colonies, we survived with things we scratch off of various battlefields. You gotta do what you gotta do for, to, to survive. I agree. On an old battlefield, we'll probably be able to find resource, resources other than food as well. How about we search the battlefield at Everblight Plain near Colony 9? There, there's one more place. The place where we met Guernica is another promising candidate. Right. When we found enough, we'll take it to the commissary. Camilla will be able to distribute it best. Okay, then it's decided. I'll help too. And then I'll also lend a wing. And we've got lean times in Colony 9. And that's it, so... Right then, should we get a move on? Also gonna go over to... We can talk to Roald here. We wanted to ask about Earl. How's he doing? Th that sort of thing. Oh, Earl? Actually, I was wondering if it was something I should report to Zero. The colony isn't happy because Earl doesn't want to do any off-seeing. I mean, I mean, an off-seer doesn't want to do any off-seeing? Off What's up with that? Well, to be more precise, stop doing it while everyone is present. He, his, gu his guard, Carrie, said it as much anyway. No one's seen how to hide or hair of him today either, so he's probably doing off-seeing. Has he been avoiding the public eye? 
Do you know where Earl is now? I think he's on Valera, Valera Hill. Ellis reported finding the husk of a friend there. Okay, thank you. I'd like to ask Earl himself what's going on. Yeah, let's go to Valera Hill. Oh, so that's how they're doing. And first, I'm gonna see if we can peckish. Do we have any uh, level up. Oh, well, we can to level 28. Nice. Two levels. And now everyone's at level twenty eight. I definitely feel nice. stronger. Let's keep things on a tight loop. Okay, so now I think uh, we need to go over to... Uh, let's get terrible to Alfetto Valley Mouth. I think we go this way. I also see a. Well, let's go over here. Something. Get up there. Oh, yeah, up here. Husks. You'll be doing them. Let's uh, send them off. sure if this is actually where I'm supposed to be going to this uh, quest. Well, maybe now it's here something. Oh wait, there's this uh, this right here. I guess we can check it out. Not long ago, a spot placed with red smoky fumes. Was container with spark many sparkling things. What a lucky pond. Such a container was usually crowded by Keys or Agnes soldiers. Supply drops. I see, I see. And now this. I recently got to go to sell foods for Tagney and soldiers, but there are many more than before. So many, they're running out of products to sell. He thinks they need large numbers to begin looking for something. Come on, on high alert. So, uh, what's one of this forgotten supplies? Let's just, uh, check these out first. Let's rest and heal up. So, let's discuss. On high alert. Everyone, a moment of your time? So, a word on the grapevine has it that Agnes and Keeves' patrols are on the rise. Yeah, now you mention it. They've been all over the place lately. It's conceivable that if we act conspicuously, the nation's troops will be placed on higher alert. And destroying the flame clocks seems pretty conspicuous, all things considered. Indeed, I doubt the consuls would overlook such irregularities. So we might expect more vigilance from them, more reinforcements. Right, makes sense, I suppose. But releasing colonies from their flame clocks can't be all bad. For sure, it gained us the co cooperation of their people, for one. It's hard to benefit. It's, hard, it's had its benefits. That much is, is indisputable. So long story short, we've got to keep up the ante like what, what our pals are doing. Absolutely, we can't afford to, afford to slip up. Got bonus, bonus speed and... Yes, I was in a quest. Everyone, Let's check out supply drops. Your time? So you guys know about those supply drops we've been seeing now and again? Yeah, what about them? 
Colonies be, be freed from their clocks. They can't request supplies, can they? No, that wouldn't make any sense. The drops are the drops are aid from one of the castles or, or neighboring friendlies. Even if one of, one of the lib liberated colonies did, did file a request, nobody had a duty to honor it. Which means that wherever we see supplies being dropped, there must be a colony or, or troops we haven't freed yet. Yeah, there's a good chance we'd encounter enemies in those areas. Indeed, when we see a supply drop, we'll have to, have to remain vigilant. Those containers will have stuff we'll need as well, am I right? If we can get our hands on them, I say we should, even with the enemies and all. And I guess those weren't actually Let's quests, go. so I guess we're good to continue on. But I'm not even sure if this is actually worth taking us to the quest. Heck. Let's go here. Uh I guess it is actually like showing us where to go. There, I think there's a ether channel right here. Let's harvest some ether. We'll take care of that. Ugh. Still though. There's another ether channel right here. Oh great, that's level 26. There's uh, top and there's top. Let's have some ether. You know what? Sensitive kind of Yeah, I'm actually gonna take take this thing out. This is actually a, a unique monster. Halfway down! Halfway through with... Now we can do a chain attack! So let's start with the uh, Brave Assault. Myopic screen. And do hammerhead. And ground beat. Your 
Yo, Brave Assault! Let's go with Tyrant Way. And uh, big impact. And Shield Bash. It's almost down. Let's go with the bombshell blitz. And let's do overfall. And shield bash. And this one. And rat overkill now. And it's down! Yes! And we have conquered it! Do exactly as I say. Leave Something it to me. so valuable here. There's a lot of good stuff from that. Again, not exactly sure how we're gonna get to that quest over there. Where's this even taking us? Uh, wait. No, I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, come on! Of course. Go, got that one down. And there we go. Not being careless. Come on, who else? Uh, wait. Um. Hang on, where does this take us? Okay, maybe this can take us to where the quest is. Come on, I'm gonna climb. There we go. All right. Maybe this will lead to the quest. Actually, no, never mind. It won't. Dang it. 
I don't even know where we're going anymore. I hope it's at least going to take us to where it is. It's gonna be. Should be time for dinner soon, right? At least there's a container over here and uh, a container. some husks that we can save or send off. Be at rest. Let's send these, uh, these guys off. Now we can go over to this container and open it. What are you hiding? Well, these away. are a bit, right? Let's put it away for safekeeping. There we go. Now we can head off this way. There's another container up there, but at least now I know that it's going up that way. But I'm gonna go over to, the, over to these soldier husks first. Husks. You'll be doing them a service. Now we can start hopefully heading over to that objective. I wonder what's around here. We discovered Camel's guidepost. Well, isn't that something? And yeah, now like we wouldn't have been able to do this before because we, like a while ago, we weren't able to like climb any of the vines and stuff. But now we can, so this is good. Hey, get a load of this. Let's uh, get this ether channel. Let's start climbing. Give it a good one. Discovered Murmur Rise. Oh, oh boy. That's a uh, one. Well, you know what, guys? I'm actually gonna. In this episode, I fear, guys. So, if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like and post a comment about what you thought of the video. And I'll see you guys next time for more of my Let's Play 4 Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace off. Peace out, I mean. Peace out.